What's up everybody? So today's video we are going to add a little bit of extra flair to the rear end of the GTR. Overall it's a really good looking car in my opinion but I feel like the rear is just missing a little bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to black out this section of the bumper. I've seen a lot of GTRs that have this done. Gives it a pretty sweet look. Going to take the Nissan badge off. I think I'm going to leave GTR where it is. Possibly put GTR there but I do like it off centered like that. Now in the last video that went live, I said that if you guys had any questions, go ahead and ask them and then I would answer them in an upcoming video. So in between this video, I'll do a mini Q&A. So anyways, let's start doing the cheapest mod that I will end up doing to the GTR. Alright, so just finished the one side. That was just a good fast forward so you can see it in quick time. But so far, I definitely like the look of it, just giving it a cool look. So now let's take a little bit closer look on how we're doing this. So to start off, this is just a wax and grease remover. I'm cleaning the whole surface just to get every single thing off of the actual plastic. And then we take the knifeless tape, just going all around this edge, being careful not to have any weird edges or anything. You don't want any unevenness, you want everything nice and smooth. So the cleaning done, we're now taking the knifeless tape. This stuff is amazing for any type of vinyl. And I really just want this, uh, there's a filament and then you can see the green, the yellow filament in the center. Hopefully you can differentiate that. That's what you wanna make sure is straight. So the green might be a little uneven, but as long as the yellow in the center is even, you know you're gonna have a good line. And you wanna leave some overhang down below for you to cut it. Now right there, the edge of this plastic is down here, so I went up too high. So we're just gonna just take another crack at it. All right, got a good line now. All right, and that is the knifeless tape. So all the way around it. And nice and down. Now what I like to do, I always have issues when I actually try to activate the tape to make it work. The way you're supposed to do it, you're supposed to grab the whole thing, put your finger here and pull really hard and that pulls the filament through but I can never make that work. So I go on the back end and I go ahead and just peel off the actual filament. So getting the filament off of it, now what I do, I take the scissors and cut a perfectly flat line right there and then pull up the tape just a little bit more and then I like to cut a slot directly in the center of the tape. And then pull the tape straight down, put the everything right back down where it went, and then pull the filament right through that slot, give it a little pull, and now this is started and ready to go. Now before we go ahead and lay the vinyl back down, I'm gonna take a clean portion of the rag with the cleaning solution on it and re-clean all the plastic because I just had my hands on everything and we don't want to have any of that oil still there. And then before I lay the vinyl, I'm gonna heat up all the plastic. And now, I'm just gonna carefully peel the vinyl off and lay it down. So just lay it on right there. And then we're gonna start in the center just slowly press down to get it going. Once you got most of it down, take the heat gun and now we're going to basically heat it up as we go. Start from the center again because even though I pushed it down there are still some micro air bubbles in here and we want to get everything out. Smile, you know you make me smile, oh yeah. You know you make me smile, oh yeah, you make me smile. Smile more when I see you. Smile less 
And just to help get me started with this filament, I'm also going to cut just a little line in the vinyl to help make this thing come out perfectly. So you can see the filament is already through the vinyl. Giving it a tug, we're cutting a perfect line here. So now all the bubbles are out, everything is nice and clean on here. We're going to pull the filament all the way out, cutting a perfect line on the vinyl. And you wanna do this with one clean motion. Alright, so now and then grab the green and pull both pieces out. And then we're just gonna heat up all the edges because now there's a little bit of a gap. We wanna heat up the edges and then place them back down. So then a close-up of what we're looking at. Hopefully you can see how good that edge is. And then down here, there's a little bit of a gap. So basically what we're doing is just closing that gap. So we're almost done with this. Now last on the list, all I'm gonna do is heat up this whole bottom edge here and then use my finger to push the vinyl to touch the top and this bottom piece. That'll give me a good area where I can take the razor and just cut a clean line all the way across. Right, and that sums it up. All right, what do you guys think? Added the little black touches. I've seen a lot of GTRs with this. Always like the look of it, just gives it a pretty neat look. So I think with the gray, just there was a little bit, like something missing on the rear of the car, but yeah, I like that a lot. That's pretty sweet looking. All right, so to go over the Q&A real quick from my last video, first question, why didn't I get a Nismo? The price, it's double the price of this not even close to being within budget. Next up, what is the first mod? As of now, I've actually already done a performance modification. I filmed that last weekend. That video will probably go up within a week from now. So the next few videos, you won't see any of this because they were filmed last weekend, but I've already done a performance mod. Another question, what the first mod is, and then another one said uh, the first three mods. Basically, uh, goal number one is making this thing sound amazing. Nothing special stock, but I know modified, they sound really, really cool. Do you need snow tires where you live? If so, do you plan on getting them? We get maybe one or two days of snow, so I'm definitely not gonna spend a thousand bucks on tires that I will never ever use. Do you miss the 370Z, and then how does it compare to the GTR? I wouldn't say that I really miss the car much. Uh, I bought it for a reason, I bought it to help build credit to be able to afford this car and I bought it because I loved it compared to the Red Z, it had so much to offer and I really really enjoyed it. But when I bought it I knew it wasn't going to be long term, I knew I was going to end up trading it in for this. It was pretty sad when I was loading it up on the trailer, watching it you know, be taken away from me and as I was seeing it in my rear view, driving away, it was sad to see my car go. But it kind of was a quick transition once the Z was out of sight. I was onto the GTR 100% thinking about what I want to do to this, how I want to drive it, where I want to take it. So it's not like I'm sad, you know, missing it. Uh, when I see one on the road, I smile and think about how much fun I had in it, but I wouldn't say that I'm really missing it. Uh, I do plan on buying another one as my project car. When I'm able to have a project car, it will be a 370. So I'll have another one again, uh, but yeah. And then how does it compare to the GTR? Completely different car in every single shape or form. I mean, a few switches are the same, but I mean, it's, it's a completely different car. How much was the GTR and how long am I paying on it for? Uh, this was 70 grand out the door, 67.5 sale price, taxes and ridiculous dealer fees got it right up to 70. Uh, I did a 60 month loan on it. However, I plan on paying it off within three to four years. What I do for a living, so I do have a real full-time job. I've been at my job for two years. Basically two or three months out of college, I got my current job. I'm a marketing manager at a small family owned business. I handle all of our online advertising. Um, I'm the product manager as well. So all of our products that we have, I manage them from beginning to the end. I go over all the pricing, make sure pricing is squared away. So kind of a normal business marketing management job basically. You need a bigger garage to keep that in. Yes, one day I do plan on buying a house. That'd be great to have a big garage. Uh, what else? The first three mods, kind of already talked about making it sound awesome. What is the top speed you've done in the 370Z? About 130 on the track. 
got up to that speed pretty quickly. What is the fuel economy like in the GTR versus the 370Z? Honestly, I wasn't expecting it to be that bad in this thing. Uh, it does not get good gas mileage. I get about 15, uh, like you saw, I guess, in either the last video or a video upcoming. I go like 170, 180 miles on a tank in the 370, could easily do 300. Uh, on the Z, I averaged about 23 around town, could easily get 31 on the highway. This, I haven't really calculated on the highway, but I'm averaging like 15, so it drinks a lot of fuel. How much did you sell the Nismo for, and then how much was the GTR? Uh, already went over this. I sold the Z for 30 grand. I think they listed it for 33.9 when they sold it. They only had it for like two weeks, and then the car sold. So I lost, you know, three or four thousand dollars in one year owning the Z, but given the content made on YouTube, that more than made up for that. Uh, next question, are you going to wrap the car? I do plan on wrapping this, probably not this year because that's going to be like three or four thousand dollars. I'm not quite ready to do that, uh, but I think next year sometime, and I'm thinking blue already. I think blue is the best color on the car, but next year sometime we will go to that. Uh, last, uh, when will you make a practicality test between this and the R8? Well, a lot of people have been commenting saying we should do that, and that would be a lot of fun given how much bigger this car is, how much more practical it is, so it'll be fun to compare the two. But yeah, that will come shortly. So anyway, that was the Q&A portion. Let's get back to modifying the GTR. So I've gotten pretty much all the adhesive off. You can barely kind of see. I think it's about right here is where it was. So it's really hard to see anything. Just got some marks left. Next up is to take the buffer off because right now you can still see the faint image of the Nissan logo. We're gonna buff that, polish it off, and then we are done with this. All right, buffing all done. You can see how clean it looks. There's no image of the Nissan logo. So that is the new look for the rear end of the GTR. Last up though, the last thing we're gonna do, I bought some red pinstripe. And just for fun, I'm gonna use this and make a line on the entire lip here all the way across and then do the same thing on the front. And then we are done with this very inexpensive GTR modification. This is the only thing that I actually paid for. This was about five bucks at Advanced Auto. The black is left over from the Tacoma. And then obviously it just took time to do that. I already had all these supplies. So anyways, let's see the last two things done and we are done with today's project. And almost done with it and the vinyl actually just snapped, so. Yeah, I'm gonna actually have to redo the rear, but what do you guys think of the red back here? Is it good or not good? It kind of looks slightly pink in real life. I'm not sure if you can really tell or not. All right, I think for now I'm actually just gonna peel it off. I'm not 100% sold on it. So let's, uh, it was going so well. It was actually, so what do you guys think? Red or no red? This stuff at least, uh, I mean, it's a little chilly out, so that's probably why it ended up snapping. And that finishes up the front. What do you guys think of that? The bottom, I really couldn't get this to bend, so I'd have to have this two pieces. Can always do that later, but for now, what do you guys think of the little bit of red trim up front? So that wraps up today's video. Kind of a quick, super inexpensive modification to the GTR. A real performance part has already happened to the car, which you guys will then see within about a week or so. Some mods are coming for the GTR. It is starting to sound pretty good, so that's your only hint. But yeah, what do you guys think of the new rear end? I think that cleaned it up quite a bit. Just makes it look a little bit wider and adds some nice character to the rear end. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a huge thumbs up, smash the subscribe button. Stay tuned for modifications coming to the GTR. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll see you guys next video.